They call it the Lala Pogo Stick. It's kind of like when Randy had giant balls. You can already get the visualization going. Uh, uh, Oh, we actually got one. <laughs> I'm going to check if my recording's still going. It was hard to start for some reason. Updates and such. So anyways, a frit duty. Oh, we're going to cutscene for it? Oh, are people not going to stay? Lord of Horror, hear my plea. Man, are they going to actually wait this through? Oh, my dear Frit, Lord of Inferno, humble servitors hear your presence and all that shit. Fuck yeah, daddy, I'm here! Almighty servant of the ignorant of God Hunt. I forgot to have I'm not sure if I should be reading this. Bloody hells! Bring those two as well. They should have had this cutscene beforehand, and then you'd be standing here. They should have changed this. What's going on? This is thing where we agreed. Spare me, I beg you. I'm tempted to skip it because them poor people are waiting for me. I rise and run loyal servants and all that shit. Oh, mighty Efrit. The one, my one true god. Ruins of my bread. No, I'm gonna skip this. I don't want people waiting for me. Let's get going. <laughs> I can watch it back in the thingy. Okay, uh, first time tank, huh? We're gonna get some newbies, huh? Aye, aye, Captain. Are you ready, kids? Okay, I remember what easy mode is. I mean, it's obviously easy. They burn them down pretty quick. Good thing I got the mobility spell. Oh, I wasn't out of it. Oh, this is what the hell? Oh, we have a uh, one of those new pipes. Oh yeah, the nail. I wasn't even noticing it. <laughs> Put the healer here. But he's dead. A little hard. Hey, I did it. Cutscene. Okay. We're done. Hold on. Oops. There's an E in there. If you trust your healer. Hold on. I'm going to advise. Never forget that. Also remember. That. It's so, so inspirational. <laughs> Thank you for coming 
to my TED Talks. <laughs> Cutscene. I was delayed, and I'm imagine I swear each seemed more evangelical than the last. Uh, persistent lot. Overkill much? Phew. I see Bloodsworn, Bloodsworn Waste in the exact path. No less, I expect the Flame General's handpicked men. As for you, Muster, you're gonna get a big ol' spanking! As for those two, it's fair to say the hardships have only begun. They have much to answer for. I feel I owe you an apology, Spud. Had I known your mission would prove so dangerous, I would never have left you to face it alone. You have been given a, ver ver a variable baptism of fire. No, 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 I wasn't. It's nothing. But let us continue the conversation in more agreeable surrounds. Camp Drybone, shall we? This way, sir. So that was the mighty Ifrit. Oh. And what a disappointment he was. The readings are nowhere near that anticipated, even making Oldean interfa interface an account into an account. You should know better than to rely on the five-year-old data left within the 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 was it the fifth the sixth whatever the seventh legion. Or can we expect the form of support from the motherland, given the troubles that, that count? We all, we have only ourselves to rely upon. Ever the persistent, my dear Livia. Promise me you'll never change. I've wasted enough time here. At that matter, a <clears throat> matter of yours, it's too old to give any reading to worth a damn. Not there was aught worth a damn to read, but I take your point. I suppose we must content ourselves with the knowledge that we've achieved our primarily objective. Yet I find I am troubled by the adventurer's unexpected show of strength. Could such a foe prove a hindrance to our plans? Perhaps, but that is a consideration for another time. You have been given a task. That is your priority. I suggest you treat it as such. Fail to do so, do my lord's commands. And I will spare him the trouble of punishing you. Oh. Saucy! With allies like that. Beware a woman in love. I shall need to do my best and be on my best behavior. Oh, no! I'm all by myself! I didn't expect them to wait for me. Could you so if only you could give commendation still. Oh I got one. Huh. Surprising. I was not expecting that. That was the most silent. I thought the person giving the advice would get all of it. <laughs> ah, the fate of people who do that. <laughs> oh, this took me here. Okay, that's fine. I was actually doing some hunts in the meantime. Hmm. But whale. Is that at one that you can only purchase and that's kind of the, the the phrase whale when you buy stuff? Ah, there you are, Spud. Come rest a while. You have no, you have no better opportunity after witnessing God's enormous defeat. It was a Ignoramus's defeat, and Lamalja will be less inclined to wish for a wrap, for a time at least. Now, where, uh, now where were we? Ah, yes, I was in the process of apologizing. I do hope you can forgive me. I arrived too late to be of any use to you or the abductees. 
They may be they may be whole of body, but the same cannot be said of their minds, for once a man is tempered. Ah, but but it all suits me to dwell on neg negative. But it ill suits me to dwell on negatives. Amidst the misfortunes, there's a reason to rejoice if it is slain, and it's your hand, no less. That is the deed no of no ordinary individual, Spud. Not, not that I ever thought you were ordinary. On the contrary, I have long suspected you have potential shape to fate this realm, the f fate the fate of this realm. What can I say? Uh, I'm, my fine eye is a talent for the remains and undimmed. It's kind of funny hearing him talk like this. You know, that's how how he's a bit later. He's all, I'm all angsty. I don't give a shit. <laughs> this guy's kind of a little bit of a bit suave. Let's zoom in here. Well, these are dead people. Eh, who knows? Manfili would be proud beyond all reckoning. She hears of your deeds. I trust you shan't object to the bearings, the tidings to her. The tidings to her, that way I can claim to have contributed something to this mission. You and me and I have earned yourself rest. Take some time to relax and returning to the waking sands, and you will be good and ready. We can discuss the matters in more detail. <clears throat> <coughs> My throat's a little crusty. <laughs> Don't take too long, will you? The realm's problems won't solve themselves. Hmm. Dead people. Poor dead people. There. That was a moment. I gave him respect. That was the most respect I could give. And it seems at the same time a disgrace. Uh, leaves? Oh, that's the leaves thing. I'm not gonna bother triggering that. Let's, uh, let's, uh, teleport to... Hmm. Actually, we can select. Oh, I got that. That was a job quest I'm gonna do later, I guess. And uh, yeah, whoops. Let's just teleport there. I'll go to Horizon. Zero Dawn. Horizon. Zero Dawn. No way! You're a mission! Hey, Kurabara. You're a smelly fuck. <laughs> what? Damn it, where's my mount? God damn it, you Rameshi! Where's my mount? Hey, Kurabara, you're full of shit. What? <laughs> what else can I do? Doing the same run over and over. Where's my mount? And how, In fact, why isn't there a teleportation crystal over there? Or why isn't this over there? I feel like that could have been a good place. Ho wee, ho wa, ho wa wa. Hey, ooh. Hey, man. You know what I mean? Scion of the Seventh Dawn. Mrs. No Name Scion. Let me conclude this quest and get things. Stuff and things. We are aiming for some stuff and things. Oh. My little red near cost Spud his life. I wasn't wasn't there when the Amalja took him prisoner. I wasn't there when they when they served him to a frit. Yes, by some miracle he survived, but that does not excuse the fact that he never have had to face the dangers alone. I failed him utterly. Just as I am failing you as well, uh, failing you all. What is done is done, Thancred. I, you can ill blame yourself for every. Oh. Hello, waddling baby person. Spud, it's so good to see you again. Impeccable timing, my friend. I had finished rega regaling Mephmephilia with your heroic exploits. Thankard has told me everything. You have done so well to return to us. Perils you face, uh, you're uh, <coughs> un unenviably great. Yet a part of me believes that I had no cause had no cause for fear. Now now we can put <laughs> put paid long investigation. As we suspected, Almaja took undertook the both the robbery of the abductions and the aim of summoning their primal Ifrit. Nor this tale limited to Ol uh, tale limited to Olda. Similar incidents have been rife in both Limsa Leminza and Gridania of late. I dare say you've been curious to know how these crimes are linked to the primals. Permit me to explain. Having manifested the physical form, primals must consume aether if they are to maintain their presence here, and the stronger they become, the more aether they require. 
Now aether exists throughout creation and flows in, in all life and permits the very air that we now breathe. Ah, yes, yes. It's like the life stream. It flows through us. We are walking things of energy. Alas, this alone will not suffice to sustain the likes of a frit. Nay, he, he and his kind require more concentrated sources of aether. Crystals. For the reason that in incidents involving crystals can often be traced back to the, as a primal. Which leaves us to why the abdu of the abductions. To understand this, you must, under must understand how primals are born. And all is well in with the world. Primals possess a no physical form. Their essence is dispersed across the great river of Aether. However, the world is plunged into chaos. Those who worship primals cry out to their gods for deliverance from suffering. These cries are ser serve as a beacon towards the in which the primals' essence is in increasingly drawn. It is from coming together, or aether coalescence, coles, coalescence. I, I, um, I, I don't know if I failed English, but I feel like I did. Which grants the uh, beings a physical form. Once born, the primal gains strength from its followers. Worship, well, followers is worship, and the more numerous and fervent they are, the more powerful the god becomes. But primals are seldom satisfied with such reverence of, as their adherents freely give. In order to gain more power, they must they do not sculpt to create followers. They do as tempering mortals and possess to which you yourself are, were subjected. Yet as Efrit took your comrades into his thrall, you alone remained unaffected. This is thanks to the power you possess, the Echo. We know not of why of it, but, but those blessed with the Echo are immune to primal influence. It is as though the creator, per, per, the creator, greater power protects us. It's like the blessing of light, isn't it? <laughs> we know about that later, probably, I think. When you came to us, I told you that the Echo would be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. I trust you now begin to see why. The recent incidents shall I all share a common trait. Meticulous planning, such elaborate designs are a new, are a new development and the one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. Why well, share your concern? My persisting, my pres presiding feels, <laughs> feeling is one of relief at your safe return. Ah, uh, the immortal flames usher ushered me, the, the <coughs> ushered me that they deal with the aftermath. So you need not concern yourself with that. May we rest easy for a time? I suggest you take full advantage of respite, Spud. You may now be sure not. You may be. You may be sure I, it won't last long. Once the people learn the identity of the hero who fell to Frit, I fear you may have nary a moment to yourself. Yes, I did it on my own. Totally nobody else was involved. What the hell? Why are you skulking there? Whether she intends to or not, oh no, Menphilia neglected to tell you something. Something I think that would be best heard by from one of us. It concerns the temperate abductees that were rescued. I'm sorry to report that all of them are are to be put to death. The flames of which you, whom you were in, uh, imprisoned included. Needless to say, this information must not be known by the public. I swear that you... Will not be. <laughs> I swear you will not do this. CD. <laughs> I swear that you will not do this in any recourse. I just I, 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 whatever. For some reason I'm having a hard time reading it. But once is once a man is tempered, the tempered he is tempered for life. His very extent existence it lends strength to the primal whom he cannot be chosen but to worship. Oh, when they're tempered, they can't uh, <laughs> they can't break it. Okay, so they kind of had to kill him. So we signs continued our fight, that no more incidents need be sacrificed. I hope you will continue to stand with us, bud. But I should be going. I must offer my apologies to the Flame General for the losses of his people suffered. Till next time. Toodles! Hurry and farewell!
Gods forgive me. How many more lives? Louis Suarez will never be allowed. Will have never allowed this to happen. I have to do better. I have to be stronger. I have to be stronger. I must go on anime workout quest. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you gotta level up more there, thank you. Oh, oh, damn, I was trying to get that smile out of my head. My family is wearing a weirdly smile. Oh, okay. Are you actually gonna have the voice dialogue? That'd be nice. Oh, I guess not. Not that very long ago, but you were an adventurer seeking to make your way to Orzorzia. Uh, but your character of courage, and you know, the best. Yeah, but let's just kind of skim this little port. Basically saying, oh, you're a fucking fantastic little guy. I give you a pat on the head, you're cute. Yeah, you know all that. You've yeah, achieved a great deal in a short time. <laughs> Flames of the price and soon discover. Yeah? Hmm? Yeah. We have guests, bud. Or rather, you have guests. Oh, man, sorry. Big pardons! Ah, Lady Minfilia. Radiant as always. I am given to understand that the signs of Zemdon have but recently welcomed a new hero in their midst. I'm here to offer... Oh, this, this is where you get to choose the banner. This is where we get the mount. Fucking finally. So I can finally travel and do stuff quicker. I want to offer said hero within our ranks. Oh. Well, Spud. As you can see, Spud, your recent exploits have gathered your the, you the atten the attentions of the grand companies of Yorza. Each organization would have would have a Fritz Bane for its own. To its end, all three have sent officers to court you. They would not they would not ordinarily go to such lengths to enlist a new recruit. What they <coughs> that they have is evidence is a high regard for you. Okay. I find myself wondering how the word of Spud's deeds spread so quickly. That the immortal flame should know this triumph to be expected. But what if the other grand companies... Eh, eh. Uh, is that implying Tataro kind of uh, let loose? He killed things! Oh, we like that he killed things! Hire him! Your reputation precedes you, Master Nightingale. This no, tis no ordinary man to fa can, can face a primal and emerge as the victor. The Order of the Twin Adder has need of a valiant men such as you to join our strengths, friend. <laughs> strengths, friend, and together lend us your, lend us ensure that peace ever reigns over the Twelveswood. Flame officer gets older. A pleasure to finally meet you, Master Nightingale. My comrades speak to you with the most glowing terms. A man of your talent belongs to the immortal flames. Join the strength of your of ours, friend, and together a uh, secure, prosperous future of Olda. Well, I was originally Maelstrom, so Devil's not exaggerating when she said you have the look of a hero. Full often she does she does she speak of you, friend. As do as do many others in Limsa, long before the rest of yours there took note. Your name was well known to us, owing your valorous deeds on behalf of our citizens. It is only natural that we should want you for the maelstrom. Join your strength with ours, and together we shall let, let, let us see the grand vessel Limsa to the shores of glory. I might stick with the maelstrom. Lady Minfilia. Ah, very well. Though I am quite sure you need to do, you need no reminding. Mayhap a brief summary of the situation would help you clarify your thoughts on this matter. As you know, the grand companies are all self-encompassing organizations empowered to call upon the martial, economic, and technological resources of their respective city, states, and times. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Couldn't quite fit it all on that full sentence, huh? There are precisely three such organizations. Or, or, or is there? Yeah, 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 yeah. We all know them. The Immortal Flames. It just announced that. Serving as grand companies means serving the nation in which belongs to you will be charged with its defense and tasked for its advancing its cause. 
in return the faithful servants service you and me for the, the, yeah yeah god why am i so snotty i hate it Ugh, and i can't even mute it <laughs> not easily at least anyways you have to we have to make a choice long story short ah a thought occurs to me you will of course recall the three city states that are planning to hold remembrance of servants as well as part of the proceedings, I am given to understand the leader of the Grand Company will... Oh, oh yeah, we have to listen to their little stories and shit. Or their little explanations. Hey! A fine suggestion! You are wise as you are beautiful, my lady. As well. Very well. Let's but hear our leader speak and then return with his decision. We eagerly await your answer. Did they say it all in unison? They all read their mind like each other's mind like they are anime characters. <sighs> you know full well what adventurers are by their nature of the liberty loving breed and not not the best suited for to the, the to the discipline of military service, but I strongly urge you join the grand company nonetheless. While the promise of reward is enticing in and of itself, it is only a, it is only a benefit. You are you you are possessed of great power, Spud, and to do what you're capable of doing, untold good. Yet, that yet that great power won't <laughs> attract attention. Not all of it friendly. But yeah, we we get it. Ah, get on me, snot! I'm gonna just skip this. Hmm. I didn't expect me to off in the future. As such, and you carry this Link Pearl. Oh, yeah, and then we got a Link Pearl, I guess, at least for story-wise. Yours is changing, Spud. You have the power to help in new. I was going to say what a morning will bring, but as long as we believe in ourselves, they're not to be, we can uh, achieve. And all that, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah, yeah. Quistic Shapti. Oh, jeez. Okay. I will speak to you. You will accept the semen in your butt. <laughs> what? I say weird things. Some people say I say things that are not right to do. I do not believe in such talk as this. I am nice man with happy feelings. All of the time. First a joke. What do you take when you get a Lollafell and a Rogadin in a bungee cord? Salisbury steak. You will figure it out one day and understand its secrets. I'm sorry about that. I was just going to skip this. Because we got to go and now meet all the Grand Company peoples. A little worried about the recording for this. All right, so I took a I took a few days until my stop my stupid sniffling, and I'm gonna continue. I really want to get the mounts. I was doing some leveling with other classes in the meantime, but I'm just like I I gotta get a mount. This is this is excruciating running everywhere. It's probably gonna be voiced. Is the Sultan Anonymous herself? And Roban as well. Wow. Okay. That man's neck. Holy shit. Hark you souls of flame. Drawn to the bosom of the desert. Where the fire burns brightest and shall rage forevermore. Is there an like, auto scroll? I can't remember how. Roban! Where since antiquity. Under the sage and judicious rule of the Ul dynasty, we have wrought sand into gold, whereby the grace and glory of Naldar have our brave sons and daughters flourished and prospered. I speak of Uldar! There, at the Flame General's back, flies the Grand Company's standard. Note the sigil. The golden scales of order balance the jewel of prosperity with the flame of might. Great and many are the gifts our nation has given the realm. In Eorzea's darkest hour, on the killing fields of Cartano, 
None spent more in blood and gold than we. Thus was the Seventh Imperial Legion laid low. So that's how it happened. How soon history forgets. Yet many left our gates never to return. Shut up, nerd. No one likes you. Let us pray for our absent brothers and sisters that they might know happiness in the great beyond as Thor's honored guests. If the fates were fair, the price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Alas, they are not. And now, but five years into this seventh umbral era, the spirit of sacrifice which granted us our strength is all but dead. Look around you. What do you see? A people divided, downtrodden and enthralled. Where are the merciful alms of the rich? Where is the just steel of the righteous? I ask you, is this the great nation our brothers and sisters gave their lives to save? You who call this living, dishonor the name of the immortal flames. It is but a slow death. Our enemies surround us. The savage hordes of the Amalja wait beside our roads, strangling the lifelines of trade. Meanwhile, the Garleans make mock of our borders and despoil our land of its natural wealth. We stand on a precipice, yet we do not act, whether trader or soldier, monetarist or royalist. All must recognize that a divided Uldar stands to fall. Victory and fortune walk hand in hand. Ye who seek glory and wealth, look not to what little you can snatch from your neighbor, but to the boundless wealth of the world beyond. Now is the time to unite. Now is the time to ride forth. In the name of the Sultana, I beseech you. Motherfucking Raban is one Chad looking motherfucker. Line not your own coffers, but those of the immortal flames. Seek not to prosper from Uldar, but to restore her to prosperity. Motherfuckers more neck than head. As the realm prospers, so shall Uldar. As Uldar prospers, so shall her people. Ya yeah, for Uldar! Together we are one. Your grace. Raoban? People of Ulda, I, Nanimo, 17th in the line of Ul, address you. Much has been made of the wealth of Ulda. Yet those who measure that wealth in coins and carrots are gravely deceived. For the true wealth of Ulda lies in the health happiness and hopes of her people beloved subjects i bid you raise aloft the torch of uldar that her flames might serve as a beacon for all eorzea to see long live nanamo glory to the sultana glory and fortune voices drive fearless into the inferno for we are by fire reborn <laughs> ah, it's Hatana. <laughs> like this voices. They're, they must be anime voice For actors. Sooth. The time is now. I believe. If you permit me, Alfie, no. No one likes you. Go away. And my sister, Alize, at your service. She's okay. I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. You might call us students of history, sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment. Oh, okay. Uh, are these are the guys who is all, uh, I think uh, they're always contrarian to each state. So it's like, it's all down to you, I, I guess, is they're trying to imply. The only thing is the long history of conflict with the Almalgian Beast Triad that worships the primal Ifrit. Judging by the look of distaste, I take it you've encountered them. The Aldunians do not shy from confrontation. If aught threatens their precious prosperity, they will seek to crush it. 
So they have dealt with a frit thus far, soothing his flames each time he is stoked to life. Yet he is but one of the several problems. Several problems, though they have been quiet the past five years, Garleans have not gone away. Meanwhile, refugees continue to arrive in droves, and all the actually we've already seen this part of the story. That we already know the refugee issue, but anyways, yeah, problem to deal with them. After all, even the Sultanate's coffers are bought. Are bombless, even this, uh, <clears throat> even unassuming as they are a coin, resources will never be infinite. Which brings me back to the subject of a frit. It has been obsessed that it has been observed that he, <clears throat> that the Amaldrin are summoning him with ever increasing frequency. Every time they do so, the Aldians send their forces to smite the primal, and though they inevitably succeed, each victory is brought with blood. It is war of attrition which they cannot s well sustain. Small wonder then the immortal flames are eager to recruit more members. Even if it's a little child like you, get fucked. Anyways. At such a desperate hour, an adventure of your ex experience would be most welcome addition to the ranks. I guess I'm not really contrarian, but... Oh. Alize is like, a, literally a clone to him right now. Like, they dress the same. They're doing the classic tw twin things where they just look Almost identical, except one characteristic, like the red bow tie. Yeah, they dress different later. Spoilers to those who don't know. Okay, I'm just going to probably straight up teleport, but thankfully, I can go back to this place, the lower decks. Wait, do I have to do Yeah, I have to oh, Yeah, yeah, I, I see. It. This stuff here, it's telling me what they exactly... Uh, I, was do I was doing leaves. Leaves are actually pretty good experience early on for low-level classes. Feels better than running around doing face, because you get big. It seems like you get bigger chunks, and you actually get money. Again, doesn't matter here, but that means I'll just be teleporting more frequently than having to worry about, you know, trying to keep my wealth under a certain amount. It's inevitably going to get unmanageable, I'm sure. Oh, we gotta go to this lift, the Bullwick Hall. Let's go, Audi. Let's go to the Bulwark Hall. Excuse me, sir. Can I please go? Yes, yes, let's go. Time for her rousing speech. The Galleons are another matter altogether. So hey. much for our alliance. It's sunk beyond the seabed. What's with these? What? I know Rogan is a green skin. It just seems weird to me. Tailless Gulkins. Brothers and sisters of the sea, hearken unto me. Look upon this, our mighty crimson standard, and tell me your hearts do not swell with pride. I will agree, I do like the color red. Over the other colors, yellow, eh. Black. Uh. Seven hundred summers have come and gone since our forefathers first ran aground in this fertile bay. In that time, guided by the mother of oceans, Limsa Lominsa has grown from humble fishing village to uncontested ruler of the five seas and beyond. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Did you look as the Admiral bid you? It is a rather stirring standard, I must say. The crimson field is meant to signify the blood of fallen crewmates, while the black longship represents a pirate vessel. When the Galian Empire marched upon Eorzea, we assembled beneath the Maelstrom Standard, and our grand company was reborn. All answered the call. From the Knights of the Barracuda to Hilthier's bloody executioners. And together, we met our would-be conquerors upon the field of Cartano. That day, the world bore witness to the united strength of Limsa Lominsa. Hell! Oh, I thought... I swear to you, no army ever fought harder or with more courage. Yet many of ours did not survive. Join me now in remembering those who fought in the name of freedom and fell. May their souls be returned to the sea.
freedom. Yes, they have always been rather fond of their freedom. Much as the beast tribes have. A small wonder. Beneath the surface, one would struggle to tell them apart. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, edgy. Edgy there, Alfie. It has been five long years since the calamity struck. Five long years of tireless rebuilding. Yet still the wounds of the calamity fester and weep. But when I stand atop the mizzenmast and gaze out upon our battered and broken vessel, I see an undying spirit. Did we not build all this from the wreck of the Galadian all those centuries ago? Shall we not do so again? We. Oui. Yet there are those who would see this ship of ours sink beneath the waves of the restless Rotano. The Sahagin creep ashore seeking blood for their accursed god. Those fish back the bastards. Have risen? While the mines of Ogomoro spew forth kobolds who push ever south, despoiling our lands as they go. These savage beast tribes will be the first waves to crash against our creaking hull. And behind them swells the grim tide of the Garlean Empire. Yeah, those fucking Garleans! Alright, right, fellas, let's go murder those damn Nazis. Even now, the Kurs fly their flags within our borders. Doubt not, but that they will be upon us ere long. We are well nigh surrounded. Yet there are those among us who would rather turn their swords against their crewmates than our cannons against our foes. How can we hope to repel our many enemies when mutiny breeds below deck? <sighs> there is but one course left to us. One bearing that will bring us victory over the beast hordes and the Empire both. And see this ship safe to port. I say we kill them all! We must mend the rift the Calamity has reopened twixt Pirate and Maelstrom. And stand fast with our adventurer brothers against the coming Tempest. Mark ye well. A crew without unity is no crew at all. Tis but a mass of drowned men. To me, then, brothers and sisters of the sea. Innocent. Gather beneath the undying crimson standard and pledge me your strength, your skill, your wisdom. This looks like Minfilia. Like the hairstyle looks very similar. She's just in a different outfit, obviously. Anyways, dialogue. And with the guidance of the navigator, this great vessel of ours shall ride the waves till sea swallows all. Ah, I get her to cook for me anytime. Minfilia clone, please. I would I wouldn't mind you being my retainer. <laughs> nudge nudge wink wink horny pee pee. Long live the admiral. The Gather the lads. <laughs> Where's me cutlass? <laughs> Let's go murder! To the seven hells, admiral. A rousing speech it was it not. Alphanad, enlighten me. I would like you to enlighten me, please. Fancy meeting you again. Eh. Oh, that's... Okay. That's probably what he's going to say every time. And then it's going to cut to the dialogue of non... Okay, I see how they did this. All right. As the Admiral mentioned her in her address, Limsa Liminza is plagued by two beast tribes. First is of the fish-like Sahajin, worshippers of the primal Lothiathan. The second are the Kobolds, those who dwell beneath the earth and take primal Titan for their god. As if the beast tribe's presence weren't troublesome enough, the Garleans also have chosen to erect the fortress right in Limzian's background. Uh, in the Lim Liminzian's background. Backyard. Background? I guess it's still a back of some form. And as they say, not at the Infernal Strife, as a nation of pirates, there is no end to the blood feuds between a various and various factions. And they will fight amongst themselves. The Garleans wet their blades and watch. If the Limensians have, have any hope of withstanding the Empire, they must first resolve their own affairs. Differences must be set aside, and the primal threat dealt once and for all. To this end, I expect they will soon take decisive action against the beast tribes. 
Mark my words, the maelstrom standard will be drenched deeper shade of crimson ere long. That capable adventure like uh, cap that a capable adventure like you would be vulner would be a valuable addition to their crew be is beyond question. A goop <coughs> But will you sail with the Admiral? Hmm. Okay, now last is the Gridanians. The only thing is like uh, What's it called? Aldo would be the most macho option. Like, if you fucking... If you like Big Dick Raban and his thick neck, definitely you would settle on that guy. It's like, oh, fuck, he... That guy, he he talks like he fucks, man. And then you have the... You have the Maelstrom that's kind of middle ground. They're kind of in between, I guess. They're still kind of... They're a bit on the macho side. If you're down for the cut... Like, those kind of cutthroat types, yeah. And then here comes Gr Gridania. Oh, all flowers and hope. All white mage talk. You know, it's kind of it's kind of the hippie choice, I suppose. Which you know, I'm indifferent to all of them. I'm like, I, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really go for the color. This, uh, I mean, some people might fuss the style on that. I kind of like the look. I like the location of Gridania. Like I, I may have said in eleven, I always liked Windurst. I'm not a fan of city states and that kind of stuff. I kind of I'm a naturey guy. That's just that's just how I be. So I would like Gridania more, but at the same time, I'm just like, eh, I don't really cur, <laughs> you know? You don't really spend your time in said faction. To mention, if you just choose Maelstrom, I think you get your company Chocobo or whatever. I think you can get them all, maybe. And you can only ride them depending on what faction you're with anyway. I think we can switch later. It's all coming back to me, so let's hear let's hear a speech. See at the amphitheater. Man, these are lengthy ones, but they have to give their introduction. I lost my son to the calamity. Hey. Uh, the three seed seers are all together. Why don't you use a so phoenix down or cast rays? Without stumbling over a body. Oh, the white mage. The funny thing is, I always I mained a white mage in this game. I'm like, ah, I can't stand this place. She's so flowery. Our forebears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood, fearful of the green wrath. They hid themselves in the dark recesses of the earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. I will say she does give off Gladiol vibes. So if you're down with Lord of the Rings and you like, you think a Gladiol with her, I mean, it's appropriate. So I can see going with her from that alone. Through great effort. They proved their worth to the elementals, and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gridania was born, some five centuries ago. Mm. Working hand in hand, the Hure and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization. And soon, they were joined by folk of all races. So nourished by the waters of unity, and blessed by the light of the matron, Gridania flourished into the great nation it is today. Are these nerds following us? I, I know they're always here and it's predicted. Do you see the Gridanian standard? There, hanging behind the elder seed seer. Oh. Uh, the entwined serpents represent the unity between Hure and Elizin. An elegant symbol. Do you not agree? Serpents? Well, I guess they're twined in unity, but why serpents? That seems serpents usually symbol symbolize deception, you know, like the whole tree of Eden thing. So it's kind of weird that they chose serpents, but all right. In accordance with the will of the elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves, nor for us. Though we Gridanians have no love for war, we have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelveswood. When the Garlean Empire brought its war of conquest to Eorzea, we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance 
that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. As Supreme Commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. Alas, their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day. For soon came the Calamity. Hmm. Yes, we saw it many times in flashbacks. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed. Each waking hour, a struggle to survive. Driven to desperation, some among us have strayed from the path of righteousness, resorting to banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. To compound our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease, and prey upon the vulnerable. So beleaguered from within and without, it is of little wonder that our unity now falters. Dark times are upon us. Time was a man could a walk on the bloody without fear. The bloody fucking excels, I hate him. On this day, five years ago, countless Eorzeans laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. Please join with me in honoring their memory. Oh, don't worry. I'm, they got they got pre-order perks for being that the legacy stuff. No way. That's that's how that's how they were remembered. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? Oh, I've heard a contrarians. The destruction wrought by the Calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to rebuild our lives, the Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding principle of Gridania. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. Let them be honored not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. I bid you, Join hands with me once more beneath the Twin Adder standard. And together, let us heal the forest's wounds, that our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. For serenity, purity, and sanctity, we must think of the children! <laughs> what? It's up to us to protect the forest. Oh, well, somebody please think of the children! Like, what the fuck? She's like, yep, I'm done here. Later, bitches. Oh, oh, yeah? That boy's wearing shorts. It's kind of weird. In those robes. What's with that weird walk? It's kind of a saunter, I guess. Yeah. Fancy meeting you again. And then you smile at me. Yeah. And then dialogue. Fancy meeting you. It's like you're following me. The, the, uh, the Gridanians are unfortunate enough to have co contoured with, with two beasts. Uh, contended with two beast tribes. The exile unquestionably more troublesome. Being a naturally warlike disposition. And won't summon their bloodthirsty primal Garuda. 
The sylphs, by contrast, are peaceful in nature, being mischievous rather than malevolent, and long been, friend long been on friendly terms with the Gridanians until recently, at least. Alas, they have grown aloof. Cha a change observed uh, <clears throat> at roughly the time they summoned the primal Ramua. Is it Ramua or Rama? I don't know. The Gridanians have no love for war and they consider open conflict a last resort. Yes, they're pacifists. I kinda, you kind of get that vibe, don't you? Though they clash with the Exile ever more regularly, you may be, may be assured that they do so in self-defense. As for the Sylphs, they are yet bound by peace, a peace treaty. Though one wonders how long it would, will be, <laughs> how long it will be before it's broken. Tolswood was grievously wounded during the calamity, leaving Gridania vulnerable to attack. Oh yeah, they also fixed that troublesome slope I heard about. The Levin slope, where you had to always run up to the corner instead of dropping off because the game was basically 11 on steroids and a maze. Anyways, the people who are hopeful of restoring the wood and verify the power of the elements will be to their end of... <laughs> will put an end to their woes. Yet how long will it take? Centuries, I'd wager. Meanwhile, the Exile will continue their insertions, spurred by, on by Garuda and their insatiable appetite for destruction. Whether the Gar Gr Gridon I always think Garlands, I don't know, my mind. Whether the Gridonians like it or not, sooner or later, it will come to all out war. And when it does, the Order of the Twin Adder will need all the help it they can muster. How vulnerable might the aid of a capable adventurer prove to them? Oh. Okay, I've heard all their wonderful stories. I'll probably just start with Maelstrom and switch to the others, because I think you can rank up all of them individually, and you can keep the ranks if it's still the same. I think. I think it, like, lowers you down when you switch your faction. So you're, when you, you can choose a faction, but you can switch freely eventually, if I recall. I think after you continue to... Spud, this is Minfilia. Are you, are you well, I hope? I wonder... Would I be correct in thinking that the final Remembrance Service is now concluded? A moment ago, you say. What a coincidence! Jesting aside, I trust you remember the guests from the Grand Companies well? Delighted though they were to have you in Waken Sands, we'll not be able to keep the suspense any longer than necessary. In short, hurry back. That's where I guess I make the decision. I guess those Flame Generals are still just chilling there. My fucker's been a long time! Because <laughs> I was out grinding, right? <laughs> Okay, back to Western Dan. Let's just take the teleport. At Dan land. And then I have to fucking run. I have 500 gil. Ooh, what a big deal. I'm actually starting to amass a bit of decent amount of coin. I have to deal with my inventory at some point, which will give yield me more coin. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on trying to get all... I still need to get... Let me just show you. I think I got... Who was it that got the 15? This guy. I got, like, the full striker stuff. It, looks, it actually looks pretty nice. The only thing missing is I need to get the legs and feet still, which when I get when I start when I get this guy the summoner, I'm gonna DPS my way through that shit and just try to farm Sestashta to get the rest of the gear. That's really the best thing to do. I guess I have a bunch of leaves on the. Thing. I'll worry about doing that after I get my mount. I'll do that shit in the background. Although I'm contemplating if I should just uh, if I should show footage of doing the job quests. That would be interesting. I definitely want to do Hildebrand, because everyone usually who do does playthroughs of this MMO, the highlights are of course the main story. Who like a lot of them always skip off like fucking. <laughs> oddly enough, I, I remember I think oddly enough I was one of those people who kind of got suckered when Asmund Gold started playing this game again, and I was like, that's when we went back into Endwalker and we had three whole expansions to go through, and this whole time I'm just like I kind of want him to do Hildebrand just to see how fucking zany it is. I don't think he did. I could be wrong on that, but I never... I stopped watching him at some point. And I just, you know, I started playing the game myself. And it's like, I'm playing it myself. I don't need to watch him. I don't know. And I guess I kind of got, got... I got a little mob mentality there. And it wasn't for the not. It's not like it was a bad thing. It was nice actually seeing the story. There were some... Uh, some personal gripes I had with it. I, I may have mentioned this when the vo the video footage wasn't working, like the audio. But I didn't like how 
Like, they were trying to sell how all your allies in Endwalker, oh, they're all dead, and they make it all emotional. I'm like, I'm not dead. They're not dead at all. They're going to come back through magic, and sure enough, they came back through magic. It was just emotional manipulation. That's how I saw it. People kind of went for it, and I'm just like, oh, no, it's just, I, I saw it coming. They weren't going to kill off all these characters. I mean, I guess people's mindset were probably thinking, Endwalker, this is the end. This is where they're going to kill off everyone, and it's going to be... I'm like, yeah, but it's so unceremonious. So it would be a little bit more emotional, and they have a hard time killing off one character, Nanaimo Bar. They, 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 they made it seem like she's dead, but then I'm like, she's probably going to somehow be alive, and sure enough. I'm still waiting for Papalino to still be alive, which he probably is, and I haven't <laughs> seen that portion of the story. All right. Hopefully I can get to 30 and do the job quests. <sighs> the gods only know what grand company our adventurer friend will keep. Hm. The wheels of change are in motion regardless. <laughs> he sounds like an evil plotter. Huh? The we That's what I kind of thought of them initially. I'm like, who are these assholes? They seem like villains. Brother. Are you certain this course is best? Whatever do you mean, dear sister? He's so smug. The so-called remembrance ceremonies were little more than standard-waving rallies. As though the Calamity and Seventh Umbral Era warranted scarcely a mention. Well, of course they were standard-waving rallies. Since you are so observant, mayhap you noticed what mention was made of the Warriors of Light? None. I suppose they must have forgotten the heroes who spared Eorzea a fate worse than the Calamity? Yes, remember those legacy players. No, dear Alizé. They haven't forgotten these details. They have elected to omit them. Deep are the wounds the Calamity inflicted upon Eorzea. So deep, in fact that the realm still bleeds. Needless to say, the beast tribes and their primals do little to alleviate the pain. So, the task of salving Eorzea's wounds falls to the scions of the Seventh Dawn, with a little help from our friends, the Grand Companies. Remembrance will yield no remedy. If our world is to heal, we must put the horrors of the Calamity behind us. Grandfather would never entrust the fate of the realm to despots who rewrite history to their convenience. Whoa, chill out, lady. What the hell? Lady? Uh, is it a lady? I don't know. What's going on? There must be another way to cure what ails this world, and I mean to find it. You are most welcome to try. Our paths may differ, but our destination is the same. In time, I dare say, we will see eye to eye. I should hope so. M -m my lady! We are to escort you! Hope does not come into it. We share the burden of this fate, dear sister, and will prevail together or not at all. The salve will serve not only to close up our present wounds, but prevent old ones from opening anew. Alright. Uh, the decisions. Okay. So I'm going to start with the home country, one country I started with. Storm Officer Man. So what is flame? They are like black and red. Well, it, is, it is appropriate. It is in my channel name. Flame officer. It's screaming to me. It's screaming to me. Screaming to me. But whatever. Fuck it. Oh, what? Oh, whoops. Sorry. Then again, there is flame storm. Did I just decline it? Okay, now we just go back to the maelstrom. Can we actually. Yeah, we can return back. Perfect. All according to Lala plans. That's what that bra big brain is for. Apparently they are well endowed. I've heard this. Well, that makes, that makes the little people feel a little bit better, doesn't it? <laughs> they call it the Lollapogo Stick. 
It's kind of like when Randy had giant balls. You can already get the visualization going. Uh, uh, Lenosia never ceases to amuse me. So anyways, it feels like a guy walks into a bar situation. Alala fell teleports back to his home crystal. <laughs> She's a giant pink tiger. Man. Gets a little confused and runs away. End of story. There's no punchline. It's just a terrifying story. A cowboy man. Hey, Storm Personal Officer. Oh yeah, can I get trusty people here, I think? Hey, that adventure, what business you have to come to command? I am Nami Spudge, I believe you are expecting me. I believe you have a letter for me. Oh, Spudnagale. <laughs> Sir! Oh man, and Claudian clothes. Hey, the helmet's at least armor, dude. What kind of fucking marauder are you? What is it, Private? Does that better be important? Sir, we have the report to look at the news here, sir. In front of the, the, the airship, the vessel abandons way, sir. It's in a bad way, sir. It appears to be banking inside the. Oh, Cedarwood! Damn it! We have no troops available there. The bulk of our infantry is bogged down the coast, skirmishing with the fishbacks. Thank you. Girl. This is highly irregular, but I feel your duty as service. A maelstrom must be feel. I guess it's like the same thing. You arrive there, and then they're like, a beast trap dude attacks something, and then do it. I will take care of it. No probably no, monsieur.